Philippians chapter 12. It is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell, God knoweth, such an one caught up to the third heaven. I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body I cannot tell, God knoweth, how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. Of such an one will I glory, yet of myself I will not glory, but in my infirmities. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth, but now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my grace is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. I am become a fool in glorying. You have compelled me, for I ought to have been commended of you. <laughs> for in nothing I am behind the very chief apostles, though I be nothing. Truly the signs of the apostles were wrought among you in all patience and signs and wonders and mighty deeds. For what it is... Is it wherein you were inferior to other churches, except it be that I myself was not burdensome to you? Forgive me this wrong. Behold, the third time I am ready to come to you, and I will not be burdensome to you, for I seek not yours, but you, for the children ought not to lay up for their parents, but the parents for the children. And I will very gladly spend and be spent for you, though the the more abundantly I love you, the less I be loved. But be it so, I did not burden you. Nevertheless, being crafty, I caught you with guile. Did I make a gain of you by any of them whom I sent unto you? I desire Titus, and with him I sent a brother. Did Titus make a gain of you? Walked we not in the same spirit? Walked we not in the same steps? Again, think ye that... We excuse ourselves unto you. We speak before God in Christ that we do all things, dearly beloved, for your edifying. I fear lest when I come I shall not find you such as I would, and that I shall be found unto you such as you would not. Lest there be debates, envying, wraths, strives, backbiting, whispering, swellings, tumults. And lest when I come again my God will humble me among you, that I shall be we well many which have sinned already and have not repented of the uncleanliness and fornication and lavishness which they have committed.